welcome to Table Topics. Today we have a special guest. Everyone welcome, Leah. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, welcome to the show. The biggest news this week in the Grammys was not what happened at the show, but who did not show up. Yes, everyone has been speculating what happened that night between Rihanna and Chris Brown, and we've heard so much news. It's moved from the entertainment headlines to the main headlines. So, guys, what have you heard about this story? Well, haven't you heard? When Peter <laughs> Mansbridge on the CBC News is talking about it, then you know that the story is not going to die. And I think, I mean, one of the things for me in a situation like this, especially when entertainment crosses that line into news, is that you know, you want to make sure that you're getting your information and your actual news from real sources, right? right. There's so many blog sites out there where, you know, mm -hmm. people can just, you know, people have sources and people can say how they feel about it. But yeah, I think you need to be just really careful what the actual facts are. Well, it seems to me that most media outlets so far, including, well, not the most reliable, perhaps, Perez Hilton, uh, most people are siding with Rihanna on this. And what do you think? Is she the victim that we all think she is? Or is there another side to the story? Is there a possibility for there to be another side? Well, let's run over the facts. They were at a pre-Grammy party together. Uh, and supposedly left together. Uh, according to the blogs and the news, a text was received potentially from another woman after which a fight ensued and so he's supposed to have beat on her because she freaked out on him and then she ended up in the hospital they canceled their grammy performances right. and she canceled her 21st birthday celebration and he went to vegas and you know, media wackiness ensued. Another, I think, incident that they described was that she actually took his keys during this altercation, threw them on the ground, and then she he started to choke her. And, you know, of course, this is all speculation. I mean, I think we'd love as well as a society to just kind of have have a great story and have a great little package and we've got this you have this rapper Chris Brown you have this oh this um you know media darling Rihanna everybody loves her she's a cover girl she's beautiful mm -hmm. she's yeah. god yeah, forbid she's something star. happens to her Ex face <laughs> exactly and um and so that's that's where I think I mean I you know we we kind of have bought into the fact that you know Chris Brown is an alleged Beta, and we we don't actually know that. Chris's relatives, as well as some of his friends, have said that he's not a violent person, which is, you know, I think they're trying to stand up for him. Meanwhile, on his Facebook, yes. he said, you'll begin to see her true colors, believe it. And he changed his status um, to single on Facebook. So what do you think? Is she this you know, angry woman that caused him to get violent? Is it fair to blame her if you know, she incited it? Or is it he is the evil one in this situation? Well, I, what threat was she or is any woman ever to a man mm -hmm. uh, to deserve that kind of retaliation. This is presuming that it happened. You know, the reports say that she, she showed up with bruises, he turned himself into the police, and as far as police reports, two sites like Perez, mm -hmm. etc., go, yes, he assaulted her. So, no matter what she did, no matter how she freaked out, or no matter how a woman ever freaks out, if she's not holding a gun or a knife to a man, is this is it justified for him to turn and beat on her? Yeah. You see these uh, cheeky movies where you have, you know, kind of a Bogart and Bacall style scene where, you know, I smack you because I'm a woman and the guy slaps her right back and it's very quirky and fun. Uh, and that's in film. And then there's real life where, you know, a she has fight, a black eye. Yeah, she has a black eye. Hand prints, I think, on her uh, arm. Bite prints on her hand, oh her goodness. fingers. I mean, she canceled a Grammy performance. This is no small right thing. it wasn't a tiny incident that you could just brush under the carpet and apparently in 2007 he had a fight with his mom in a hotel there was a huge mess broken plates the police were called in but he wasn't charged and all he had to do was pay for the cleanup okay so his and his mom has yeah. said that he was a victim of domestic violence himself growing up although his stepfather has denied this accusation so then is he a victim then who hasn't healed from his own troubled childhood. And that's a question that a lot of entertainment news shows are addressing. 
Chris's past. Um, and yes, supposedly he has a past of abuse from his father. And so they're going to random abuse specialists who are giving these expert reports on how that might impact his behavior and what might have happened. Is this fair? Is this fair to a celebrity? Right, and if he is going through this, is it forgivable? Because I just think back lately, we talked about Michael Phelps. Mm -hmm. You know, we really hold our idols accountable for what they do, and there has been consequences from this. For example, radio stations have stopped playing his yes. music. Milk has said, well, you know, it's the end of the contract anyway, so we're probably not going to renew. Absolutely. And Wrigley suspended their whole ad that involved him. So... I just think, you know, is that fair to him? I think that if he was to go to therapy and say, you know what, this happened to me when I was growing up, I lost it and I regret it, and if he made an apology, quite possibly mm -hmm. there could be a great opportunity for a redemption here. Just coming from a completely different um, point of view on that, I also know a lot of women who are, who kind of thrive on a, an intense, angst filled mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to say violent, but mm -hmm. you know, they definitely, they enjoy the, um, you know, the fighting aspect of their the relationship. Drama. And again, I don't want to say it's physical, but um, yeah, and the drama, and that's what kind of keeps them together with these boys. So, you know, I, I don't know if, if, again, painting Rihanna in this, not to say that she isn't a, a beautiful R&B darling that we should, you know, that painter in the princess picture, but you never know. If you're making money because we love you and we love to watch you and we think we love who you are, then too bad for you mm -hmm. if you lose it because you're not who we thought you were and you know, you potentially hit your girlfriend. So is Chris Brown truly the evil one? Is Rihanna the victim? Or is there more to this story than we can see or understand? Please leave a message. We would love to get in discussion with you about this. And I agree with you, Leah. I just think we should just leave them and, and it is innocent until proven guilty. Thank you for watching Table Topics. We'll see you next time.